The invention of smart technology is completely transforming the way we live. But apart from Elon Musk's self-driving cars and Jeff Bezos' staffless stores, let us talk about the technology that is completely shifting the way farmers farm. Smarter machinery will save money and the environment. Farmers are already used to cultivating land with the help of modern machines such as tractors, pesticide dispensers, and soil cultivation machines. With the advancement of artificial intelligence, otherwise known as AI, these machines are completely being transformed to work autonomously. This is being made possible as engineers are connecting them with Earth-orbiting satellites. These satellites will guide farming machines, eventually eliminating the farming labor costs. These new AI-driven machines will also be better at preventing crops to rot in the field, which is something that happens quite a lot to farmers that are unable to pick them because of limited salaries they can afford to pay their workers. But even in cases where farmers do pay their workers a decent salary, a lot of crops will still be left to rot as workers are unwilling to pull out weeds and high summer temperatures. This doesn't only make food go to waste, they also harm the environment as crops give off greenhouse gases when they deteriorate. Automation combined with the data science used to revolutionize other fields will allow farmers to apply fertilizer and pesticides at the perfect spot for healthy crop growth. This will reduce the number of toxic chemicals used on crops, which will reduce environmental harm. Stavros Vujiokis, an associate professor of biological and agricultural engineering at the University of California, said that the use of smart technology technology and farming will increase efficiency, lowering energy costs as well as have a huge environmental impact. Smart tractors. Tractors that can drive themselves are already available in the market, but despite running autonomously, farmers are instructed to stay on board to make sure the AI of the self-driving tractor doesn't make any tweaks and damage the land. We need to understand that AI and farming machinery is something relatively new to humanity and needs constant observation. Co-founder and CEO of Autonomous Tractor Craig Schultz said something clever when discussing the topic of mixing AI with farming. He explained that although this combination will help the farm further develop, the farmer still has to be there because, in the end, only farmers truly know how to farm. A computer is still getting used to it. Most farmers are already using video cameras, radar, and an autonomous driving option for tractors. However, this era of smart tractors will not last very long as these machines are on their way to becoming even smarter. This is because engineers are currently making it possible for multiple tractors to be controlled only by one person, who will most likely work in an office and not in a field. Aside from cutting costs, these smart tractors will limit the exposure farmers have to pesticides. Farmers are really looking forward to this new technology and are even beginning to buy into the notion of autonomous farm machines. There are currently multiple companies working with vehicle manufacturers and engineers in creating a new series of smart tractors that will be able to operate without the need for a driver. According to reports, they will be equipped with advanced computer vision and radars that will help the machines avoid any obstacles even during nighttime. These tractors are new and they will start getting tested on farms in 2022. It is predicted that they will be available in the market within the next five years. Picking fruits and vegetables. At the moment, crops that don't grow in rows, such as cherry or apple trees, are still planted by farmers without using any advanced technology. However, this will probably change in the near future. In the past decade, machines equipped with vision and touch sensors have made a significant advancement. These sensors will allow future farming machines to see and feel fruits. Instead of traditionally raising fruit trees and vines, this smart tech will allow fruit to be raised in so-called fruit walls. This will be made possible by farming machines that will breed and prune trees so that they create near-flat clusters of fruit that can be easily picked by machines. Testing on these machines is already taking place. Two companies, California-based Abundant Robotics and Israel's FF Robotics and Haywood, are preparing to release fruit-picking machines in the market by 2030. These machines will either use a suction device to pluck the fruits from trees or robotic arms that will pick the fruits similar to how farmers pick them. Matthew Whiting, an associate professor of horticulture at Washington State University in Pullman says that these types of machines will be commercially available by 2025. He also predicts that in the next 30 to 40 years, farmers will no longer be involved in the harvesting of fruit and vegetables as smart tech will have taken over. Farming by the numbers. Gradually shifting from farmers to machines is also lowering the rate of precision agriculture, meaning that most farmers who have already started investing in smart tech machines are no longer using large amounts of conventional agriculture spraying to grow crops. Smart machines require the use of AI to apply a minimal amount of fertilizers and other agricultural chemicals. These machines will also be able to show farmers the exact amount of chemicals sprayed, the crop area sprayed, and the day and time it sprayed it. Pretty much everything will be automated. Gathering all statistics and data on growing crops is another major advancement that farming experts are calling a precision agriculture. Machinery giant John Deere is one of the biggest players in the advancement of precision agriculture. The Illinois-based manufacturer revealed a set of 
spraying machines that are controlled by computer vision and touch sensors. John Deere has also revealed that they are currently developing new machines that combine computer vision and touch sensors with an AI that is able to analyze the quantity and quality of grain while it's harvested. This machine will help farmers optimize the angles of the machine's components and speed settings to choose how the grain will be processed. According to Deere, the main goal of these machines is to maximize the amount of grain that gets harvested and to make sure that the grain doesn't get damaged during the harvesting process. However, John Deere still believes that this technology is only the beginning of advanced farming. This is mainly because the types of vision and touch sensors applied on these machines will become more precise in time. On the other hand, Blue River Technology is planning to commercially release automated crop sprayers that feature computer vision algorithms that are similar to the same ones Facebook and Google use to be able to recognize faces. These algorithms will tell weeds apart from individual crop plants. This will allow the machine to set the minimal amount of chemicals needed to be applied to crops. For the moment, Blue River Technology is mostly focusing on the better development of machines that grow row crops such as lettuce. How technology will influence the farms of the future. From the discovery of harvesting land to the introduction of farming tools all the way up to the invention of smart farming tech, innovation is at the peak of agriculture. These autonomous tractors and robots that pick fruit are only years if not months away from being available for purchase. And as soon as they become the norm in farming, they will help transform the industry unlike we have ever seen before. But how will farming adapt to these advances? And how will this technology influence future farming and food production? These questions have led researchers from Harper Adams University to study future farming. Simon Blackmore, the head of robotic agriculture at Harper Adams University, conducted plenty of research on this topic. He mostly focused on his studies on precision farming, smart machines, and agricultural robots. During an interview with CNBC's Lubna Takuri, he said that with all the new opportunities that farmers are being given with these smart tech machines, the world will go through a new agricultural revolution in the production of crops. Rather than training and harvesting crops and picking fruits and vegetables, farmers will start getting trained in the better understanding of these new technologies. Farmers will still make similar decisions on where and when to plant crops, but these decisions will be significantly supported by AI, precise data, and decision support systems. These machines will provide the agricultural industry with a range of advanced technologies that turn field data into information that farmers can use to enhance yield potential, manage risk, and improve efficiency. The head of Climate Corporation, Mike Stern, has tried to predict the way that agriculture will develop and change over the next decade. He believes that the farms of the future will be much more different from what they are today. There will no doubt be more automation on the farm and a handful of different sensors that will measure all kinds of elements that will mainly help in managing crop production on farms. Stern also added that with such a shift in the way people farm, there will be a need for new digital farming tools that will help farmers better manage machinery. These advancements in agriculture are so new, no one can really predict where these technologies will end up 10 years from now. In the end, one thing is for sure, people will still be the main decision makers when it comes to farming in general. Thanks for watching.